All right, so let me see with both hands raised up. Yeah, and exactly like Joey's doing from the center string. I like how Tomas is giving it the nice bounce. <laughs> and you find that back string so they can then take a bow. Oh, yay! Beautiful. <laughs> can we see a forward lunge with the hands up? Ta-da! There you go, Daisy. Come on, Rosie. There we go. So cute. Well done, fellas. Good job. I'm Kent Williams. I'm the producing director of LTDM Entertainment. And my name is Rosalinda Oliveris, and I am the sales and marketing manager for LTDM Entertainment. We have over 100 puppets in this show, all of which are handmade. And they, they see uh, anywhere from 12 to 14 different artisans through the process. And it takes about six weeks for each puppet. Yeah. Um, the puppets that uh, are training puppeteers are using right now are actually not in this show, but they're similar enough so that we can rehearse with them. Yeah. And John actually did all the sculpts for all of the faces himself. And then they're cast and then he constructs the bodies. They go, the heads go to our painter yeah. in Denton <laughs> County and the bodies go to the costumer over by Six Flags. Then they come back to us for all of their strings and final assembly. So I think the biggest challenge between now and having the show completed and ready for curtain is training puppeteers, one. Two is making sure that all of the outside production um, things are finalized. So making sure it's painted, it's swept and clean and ready for an audience. All puppets constructed, yes. <laughs> strung, completed, everything ready to go. My favorite part of the show has to be the Day of Remembrance, and that's what we're calling that little segment. And because of the puppets that we're having, we have a variety of puppets coming out of different characters, but all in that beautiful face paint. Uh, I will be puppeteering a couple of tandem puppets. That means there's two puppets on one controller locked in a permanent dance They're step. Beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. I think my favorite part of the show will have to be the little fur guy who is going to come out. We have a little chihuahua who is going to make an appearance in the show and I think his bit is so funny and I think that the audience will really resonate because who doesn't love dogs and have fur babies at home? So it's going to be great to see him do his little bit in the show. Our show schedule for the fair is extensive. Uh, the run is 24 days. We are performing every single day, at least four shows, 11, 1, 3, and 5, and 6 o'clock on weekends. So this is a brand new venue here at the State Fair. The McDonald's Amphitheater is debuting. It's the first time we've ever done anything in this space. So don't miss us. We are by the Magnolia Beer Garden, right by the Old Mill Restaurant. Um, the biggest landmark that you can find you cannot miss is the Big Elephant. <laughs> so you can't miss him. As long as you find him, then um, you will find us. Right next to the Old Natural History Museum yes. and the Lagoon. And the Lagoon, yeah. <laughs> So we want to welcome you guys and make sure that you bring everyone out to the McDonald's Amphitheater here at the State Fair for Fiestas de Marionetas. Bring everyone, children, moms, dads, abuelas, tias, everyone. Bienvenidos todos. Um, so please come out and hang out with us and watch our show. Please reach out to us on Geppetto's Theater and Workshop on Facebook. We want you to take pictures, post them online, and tag us. And um, also on Instagram, Geppetto's Marionette Theater.